the Rev here, and you're walking with the Rev. It's another beautiful crisp day here in the Commonwealth. The last wisps of winter are slipping past us here, and it's March. So the weather I've heard in March either is supposed to slip in, come in like a lion, out like a lamb, or the other way around. And yesterday we had a thunderstorm, but it wasn't like a big thunderstorm, so I don't know if that counts. Hmm. Anyway, I'm not here to talk to you about the weather in March. So today I want to talk to you a little bit more about the things that make us different. Specifically, labels and stereotypes. We love labels. Love them. Use them all the time. We as a species love taking things and organizing them. We love organizing them. Putting them in the little boxes of what they are and what they do. And that's fine. It helps us understand the world around us. And by themselves, labels are pretty innocuous. You know, they're just descriptions of things. For example, I am a white Christian male. On its own, that means that I am in fact Caucasian. I practice Christianity in my religious worship. And I am a dude. <laughs> Pretty safe, right? Now, it's when we start applying meaning to those labels that things start getting tricky, like and we also that also develops things like stereotypes. You know, what does it mean to be a white Christian male? Well, let's use me as an example again. If you were to come up to me on the street, only armed with the knowledge that I am a white Christian male, you would think the following stereotype. That I am a straight, I am Republican, and I am the sole income earner in my home. That's the pretty typical stereotype of a white Christian male. Now, the truth is, I am <laughs> I'm a bisexual Democrat who preaches on the internet making almost nothing. Now, some folks take those labels and stereotypes and they wear them as badges of honor. And that's, that's pretty, okay. I mean, that's fine. You know, we, we use these things to help build an ad, our identities. You know, I'm, I'm a gamer, or I'm proud to be American. You know, I'm, I'm a woman, I'm all the, anything. You know, I am this, hear me roar, blah, blah, blah. And that's fine, it helps us build an identity, but what's, what always gets me about that is that we use all these labels and st to, with, with, even with the inherent state, we use all these labels to try and make ourselves different. But we also want to be a part of a group. We're all trying to be different in the same ways. You know what I mean? And that's always kind of confused me. It seems so complicated. I mean, if you go on to Tumblr, if you're familiar with it at all, and you look at the amount of words they use to describe what they believe and what they feel and what they are, it'll blow your mind. They have a dictionary, a dictionary for all the words they use. And I don't know, maybe I'm just a simple guy. But I think I think I found a way to make things easy for everybody. If we so desperately want to be different, but the same, how's about this? We have a perfectly good label for us individually. And that's our name. I am Josh. And behind that is all the things that mean what it means to be Joshua Bickert. Perfectly good label. And if we need a box to put ourselves in to be the same, well, we've got a perfect one there. We're all human. Boom. I am Josh, and I am human. So there we go. Perfectly easy, clean, simple. And I like to think that it'll also help build more, more peace and understanding if we can just sort of use that. We can overcome the stereotypes of all these differences and instead have our differences be a part of 
just what makes us all human. Well, I'll probably talk a bit more about this on Friday. I hope you all have a wonderful day today. Stay warm if you're in the cold. Stay cool if you're in the heat. And remember, folks, keep the faith and keep smiling.